Hey everybody, Tony D and Little Joan here with a Screenwriters Rant on Studio 666, the new Foo Fighters horror comedy movie. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Please check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys. Books 1 through 7. Uh, check them out. Support the channel uh, at Amazon.com. They are free with Kindle Unlimited. Now, the premise is the Foo Fighters are recording their 10th album. They get this spooky house to record it in. And, of course, all hell breaks loose. Um, and there's various people who are in the movie. But, ultimately, Dave becomes Dave Grohl becomes possessed. First he gets writer's block, then he becomes possessed. And uh, he starts killing his own bandmates as he's possessed by demons. Not Lionel Richie, but various demons. So, it looks kind of funny. I, I, is that Whitney Cummings? She looks a little different. It looks a little puffier for some reason. That's, uh, what's his face? MacGruber showing up to do a stint. And I assume be horribly, brutally murdered by demons. Um... You know, it it it, it kind of looks funny. It, it's kind of like a fun movie experience where Dave kills off his bandmates for some reason. Um, but I'm not sure how this movie could end and make any sense. You know, he Dave kills a guy at the grill, and then he kills a guy. He kills the drummer here. You know, he kills him there, and they find an old book that in the basement of the house that they're going to use to depossess Dave, I guess. Um, I mean, it looks okay. It doesn't look that, I mean, screenplay by Jeff Bueller and Rebecca Hughes, based on a story by Dave Grohl, directed by B.J. McDonald. Slaying Theaters, February 25th. I mean... What, what else are you going to make? Right? There's no other comedy movies coming out. No, Hollywood won't make them. So why not the Foo Fighters? I mean, it's a it's a brilliant move. It's a brilliant move from Grohl's perspective. If this movie does even a little bit of business, it's a brilliant move. It's a brilliant move. Because no one's doing comedies. And we desperately need comedies. But I have to say, the trailer didn't look that funny. It just, you know, it looks more like a cartoon. Uh, it, mo it looks more like an extended music video than anything else, which is basically what it is, I assume. Um, I mean, there's some funny moments. Lionel Richie showing up, and I assume... Is that Whitney Cummings? It looks like her. Um, I assume there are more, more moments like that with MacGyver or whatnot. Here he is probably killing one of his bandmates. But when you're dealing with non-actors in the lead roles, eh, it can be bad. Now, Grohl himself is actually pretty funny. I've seen him do little comedy bits on his album and stuff. So, I mean, he doesn't look that bad. The rest of the cast, eh, you know, the rest of the band, I don't know. I, I mean... Obviously, they're going to surround these guys with actors and, and try to make it happen. But And Grohl does do some self-deprecation here. He starts playing Everlong and they he says, Oh, I got this new song and it's obviously Everlong. And they, yeah, you wrote that song 20 years ago. So, I think for Foo Fighter fans, this is an absolute must. I think for the general population, it'll be okay. I don't think it'll be super funny I think it'll be maybe worth seeing you know it, it, back in the day I would call this a rental I would rent this I wouldn't go to the movie theaters to say it unless unless I was just dying to see a movie if I was dying to see a movie I, I might go see this just for fun just for uh, S and, and giggles um, but you know I, I'd be perfectly willing to wait for this to stream. It's coming out in February, which is, a, again, an indication that, you know, they don't want to release it against anything too good. But where are you going to see another comedy? Hollywood's not making comedies. They're afraid of them. 
the Foo Fighters aren't afraid. And for that, I give them all the credit in the world. Again, if this movie even does a little bit of business, uh, I think you're going to see Grohl get into the get into the movie business. Why not? Why wouldn't they? I mean, at least at least the movie will be fun. It already looks fun. Doesn't look particularly funny, but it looks fun. So I would see this movie. I like Grohl's music. I like the Foo Fighters. Um, I don't mind the premise. I think the execution could be a little better from what I'm seeing here. Although the Lionel Richie thing is funny. But uh, we'll have to see. So first act, they need a house. They go to the house. Second act, weird things start happen. Third act, Grohl gets possessed, starts killing people, and they have to they have to save him in order to save the band <coughs> and the album, which they they do. But in the end, you know... It's either all a dream and they go on tour or uh, they somehow bring people back to life. But the ending is probably one like, you know, question mark, question mark. Um, you know, he probably kills a bunch of people, but they come back from the dead somehow. Or they're zombies and they and they play. They play anyway. So, I, you know. Studio 666. Could be worse. I I think it might be at least worth seeing. And that's it for me, Tony D and Little Joan. Uh, check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble. And we'll see you tomorrow.